Well, that was a quick break. Excuse my phone ringing. Ready for the start of Screen versus Aaron Gales. I'm sorry, the drummers are warming up behind us. So guess what? It'll be a quiet commentary. Straight from the off, Aaron Gales. Oshim Helm, I think it is. Oshim scores the goal. Japanese drummers. Sure, you can't beat it with a big stick. Apparently they can. So, in the other game, uh, St. Columbo Johnny Gall won. Didn't get the score. Too busy trying to get the teams for this game. Screen on the attack. Screen from Mead. Uh, Half time, I'll give you the their paths to the semis. Aaron Gales in black. Screen in blue. The wind has died a bit. Oh. Hi. Aaron Gales in uh, black. That was uh, Bernie McCann. Apparently he's wearing number 16. Screen on the attack. Yeah, I think he would have taken that goal chance himself. But popped. Oh, great. What number is he wearing? That looks like 23. I don't have a 23. 25. Aaron Gale's on the attack. A superb long point from Ryan Lyons. Can you please come back to the Paris, just in the second point of view? So all support is not no, no longer decided to Did you catch that? Please come back to the Paris. Don't be you, you're sitting along the point. Screen on the attack. <laughs> yeah, great. We've got a 14. I don't have a 14. I don't have a 15 either. They must have decided to wear the fresh jerseys, which makes a lot of sense. I promise if they go further, I'll get the actual numbers. They were supposed to submit a new team sheet so uh, it just hasn't made its way to me but at the moment it's Aaron Gales one point to the good and in possession clean through one on one oh and that should have been a goal from Ta- Tony McCaffrey and they missed the follow up point but at the Ooh. moment it's Aaron they Gales one point to the good and in possession tap in. clean through Two one on one keepers oh and that sh- anyway screen three points Aaron Gales one goal, one point. The scoring rate usually tells the tale. That's a superb point from the screen. I've headphones on, so I can't hear. Oh, oh, that was a little bit theatrical from uh, Tony McCaffrey. That would look like from the screen. He's not pulled the black card. I've headphones on, so I can't hear his. Oh, oh, that was a little oh, he's bit. Got his hand in his pocket. He's looking around. No, he must be just looking for the jelly babies. So, screen substitute Tony McCaffrey has taken that fall, has gone off. Okay, it looked theatrical from here, but on the ball, Ryan Lyons. Should be a simple pop over the bar from there, and it is. Screen four points. Aaron Gales, one goal and two points. If you're in the area, come on down. It's not too crowded today. It's really lovely out here. There's lots of stuff for families and all to do. On the attack, screen. A nice point tapped over there. Just keep ticking over nicely with five scores now. Screen to the three scores of Aaron Gales. Aaron Gales look sharp, but Screen are taking their scores. Great chasing back from Screen and straight in for the card. Looks at the ref there for uh, Stephen O'Brien. No, he must keep the jelly babies in that pocket. No cards yet. Screen reminding us about how tough Mead football is. On oh, Aaron Gales, I'm thinking of Lachlan Gales. That's what I'm thinking of. But anyway. A long, long effort outside of the boot. 
and just wide from uh, Ryan Jones. Worth the effort if you have the range. Short kick out from screen. The team I have for screen anyway uh, uh, under uh, Kieran Lenehan, John Finnerty, John O'Regan, Stephen O'Brien, Harry Rooney, Dara Campion. Yeah, there's a good score. Shane Smith, Connor O'Brien, Paddy Fox and Owen Smith. Aaron Gales, Barry McCann, Paul McCaffrey, Shane Shane Murrah, Paul Ward, then Olsen and Ushin. Looks like Helm, but it's a handwritten team sheet. Tony McCaffrey, Mitchell Logue, McGarry, Ryan Lyons, and Dan McCann, number 10. So they're just, their uh, keeper is wearing 16, Barry McCann, and the rest are wearing 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Screen on the attack, and the goals are wide open. You just have to drop it in. Ah, you needed to drop it. Walking it in, and he has walked it in very well. Stephen O'Brien, if the team sheet is correct. Wide open. You just have to drop it in. Ah, you needed to drop it. Six, the screen. Walking it in, and he has walked it in very well. Screen, and he's in again. He's in again. Lays it off, and a simple goal. That's a bad mistake. Stephen O'Brien taking advantage there, and number 22. We shall find out who these people are later on because I'd say they'll progress at this stage there. 2-6 to 1-2 up on Aaron Gales with a lovely long ball straight out to Ryan Jones says open go a fantastic save from screens Shane Smith. It's a great progress play. at this stage there. 2-6 to 1-2 to up on Aaron Gales with a lovely long team. ball straight out to Ryan Jones says open go a fantastic save it's a great day out it's great to get the club together you know it's an All-Ireland title you know it is the third All-Ireland football title uh, I've certainly seen Curtis Finn over the years use this to great effect to build their championship and All-Ireland winning teams once again Ryan Thomas splits the uprights I don't know what people are moaning about but that's a good score double scores screen 2-6 Aaron Gales 1-3 referee is keeping checking the time I think there's a new net behind those goals which is great chasing the balls in over the bank was always a pain in the ass as I say all opinions expressed are my own and not those of the club or the football committee so if I swear ah, it's not going to happen Croaks aren't playing anyway Standout player Ryan Jones on the attack again for Aaron Gales. Mitchell Logue oh, loses possession, but God is free. Again, you'd see this being a tap over, but there's only one player on the line and one player guarding the edge of the square. An adventurous type would be able to uh, score from that. Some nice shouting going on from the Blessington Bally Bowden match. Blessington wearing red. I think their normal colour is a blue top. They were wearing black t-shirts earlier as well. And uh, Bally Bowden scored some good goals earlier. That's a good point over there. Now back to here. Screen. Looking for kick-out options. Chipping into midfield. And well up. Oh, I thought he won that well. John O'Regan. Getting possession using it well. Now one of the players have changed his jerseys. Has his free advantage, no advantage, so back to where the ref is. Didn't get to get the ref's name. I'm sorry. I did a great McQuaig test about referees and about their dominant profile. Their dominance is CEO level off the scale. And right there you saw an example of a bit of back chat and the ref brings it up to the 14. And another score, 2-7 screen... Aaron Gales 1-4 long kick out taken well by Mitchell Hogue cutting in nicely should get an advantage oh, do you know what that's uh, I think Shane Smith and goals for uh, screen that's the second extended boot screen on the attack they do look sharp they do pull down just give up on you got your free anything else happens the ref gives you Seven yards, yep, and there he goes again. You see, you don't need to get involved. Aaron Gales are blowing it now. We're not at half time, and they're 
already looked like they're falling apart. Yeah, goal is on. Players hadn't retreated. And that's another ball down out of the ground. But anyway. Right, there you are, half time. And the scoreline 2 7 for screen 1 4 for Aaron Gales. So, two goals in it. The other match, Bally Bowden versus Blessington. So Bally Bowden scored some great goals this morning up in Silver Park. I don't know who their team is. Good block from Blessington. Mm. Bally Bowden, the last Dublin representatives. Fingal Ravens looked like they were going to go through with the points difference seemed to go against them. All they went through were the group winners and the two best runners up across what was it six groups so 24 teams today two Crokes teams but we do have two senior football teams in the club so that's that was sound some new names there um, newly promoted O'Toole's came in uh, but were, even with some big scores the points difference counted Bally Bowden score again over there against Blessington. The Blessington Bally Bowden match will be shown in full after this on where you're watching it. You can select the other matches, the two quarterfinals that you haven't seen, which will be useful to watch because the semi finals aren't until five o'clock, so you get both of those games in on kilmacoodcroaks.tv. Thanks to Performer Sports. Um, I mean, Performance has been supporting us here in Hurling and Football 7s for many, many years. Their app has been superb. Long before others were even doing it, they were giving us a prize uh, for the winners here of the app, the Stats app. And watching it in action here, it is superb. Go online on you know, Monday and have a look at what they produce. It is superb. And, uh, you know, Joe and Dan are just always been great supporters of the club and the sevens here and hopefully uh, it's worked for them as well so it's great to see them doing the streaming here today save me doing it right we're back on screen in blue versus Aaron Gales 2-8 to 1-4 and score straight away from screen what did I say the score was that time well, it's 2-9 to 1-4 now screen dominating and have the breeze the ball is holding up and that's now I'd hate to be a linesman Rory Ward all Ireland medal winner at Kilmacud Croaks in 1995 and played for <laughs> South County Dublin against the, against the Aussie Rules team in schools team in 82 81 Ryan Lyons again superb sideline ball it is lovely to watch the accuracy of some of these players. Screen in possession. 2-9 to 1-5 in their favour. So we're taking the kickouts from the small square. Um, you can take it from the 13, that's 14. Great take by the Ryan Jones. Standout player for Aaron Gales this afternoon. Aaron Gales on the attack. You really need a goal here, lads. Good diagonal run. Nah, he's run out of space. That's okay, he had his free. That was uh, Tony McCaffrey. If I've got these wrong, you can send me a message on the Facebook Kilmacud Sevens page. Luckily, the ref pulled that back because it was well wide. Could do with some ball, boys. That's the man collecting the ball the moment. Also, has a 1995 All Ireland Club medal with Kilmacud Croaks. Hank Rutledge. And this is there's Ryan lines again. And this is the beauty of this. So the other umpire down this end is the logistics manager for the first team. So had a good run to the All Ireland final last year. Oh, Stephen O'Brien was in trouble there. I thought he handled it on the ground. But hey, what would I know? Stephen O'Brien plays the ball through to the mysterious number 25, who fails to keep the ball in play. That corner of the pitch, from this angle, looks like it goes up a bit. 
wonder is that how far out yeah I don't know brand new pitch here in Kilmacher Croaks to give us the to train. Train. Well, points, points. so there you are half time in the Ballyboden Destiny match Bowden up by two points over West Wicklow's Blessington great place to go and play a match not Pally Bowden although that is fun when you win a match out in Pally Bowden Parky Vurkun Blessington 2 wasn't it Kevin O'Brien the great player that came out of Blessington played Aussie rules for Ireland as well screen oh rattled across bar which puts Aaron Gales on the attack 2-9 to 1-6 in favour of screen that's great tackling by screen and he's given the line ball he could have given the free it wasn't the closest screen on the attack just pop it over that's lovely puts another 210 216 that's a big gap so seven points the difference a couple of goals to bring it right back oh that is a superb take from Rock Earns down McCann Like it's a bit casual, you know. You've got your free, you need goals, so ah, why didn't you give it to him? Like, anyway, look, what am I? What a sad old junior B footballer, but I can't even get a game there. But that's another story. Hope Marion Duggan is listening. Green. <laughs> Stephen O'Brien always shown for the kick outs. And lead a lovely ball through. Open goal. Yeah. Screen 3 10. Aaron Gale always seven. shown for the kick outs. Japanese drummers have stopped. And lead a lovely ball through. Oh no, they're warming up the baseball. Open goal. Yeah. So it was nice talking to you. You might be able to hear me. Aaron Gale's through, and a nice finish. Nice finish from uh, Oshin Healy. Long, high ball. Oh, well taken again at the back. Some lovely fielding from Aaron Gales. Tony McCaffrey on the ball, but playing for his free, and he got his free, and he deserved his free. You see, you look up, now, screen, fair play, and they just drop one straight back to the goal line and one always edges the six, or the six-yard box, the small square. Tony McCaffrey, Ryan Jones, free taker. Yeah, that's my phone buzzing. Someone tell me I've got it wrong, which just wouldn't be unusual. I can't look at it. Ah, welcome back to the Japanese drummers. Superb feeling again. No mark in this game. John O'Regan that time. And... Screen. Finish Superb well. feeling seven, again. No mark in this game. It is. 4 10 to John O'Regan that time. And... You're, you're, yes. Be judgmental if you want about the commentary, but you're not standing here in this heat two teams you don't know anyway screen again the men in the white coats say it's now 4-11 to 2-8 Aaron Gales need to manufacture 2-3 in the next 3 or 4 minutes screen on the break no need for them to Last night we had the first uh, Beacon Hospital Under-14 tournament. Screen through. Well, if you can hear me over the Japanese drummers, that's now screen 5-11 to Aaron Gales. Last night we had the first uh, screen of Luke Lively from the very start. Screen through. The goals well. And that lead is three goals, three points. It's, it's, it, is, it can be done, but they haven't looked like doing it. And there, Ryan Jones... A master putting the ball over the bar, once again puts the ball over the bar. 
great to see the teams who are coming out this underage tournament. You know, management from our senior first team, which is great because they get a, to see the talent of the future. So current players, Gav Sheridan, I see there with the, the yellows. And uh, I see one of Mick Jones lads eating a sandwich. Good lad. And Hugh Kenny also eating a sandwich. Anyway, back to the game. You're watching it. You probably can't hear me. I can't hear myself with the Japanese drummers behind. Aaron Gale's on the attack, dispossessed by screen. Screen is looking good. Who looks best so far? Open goal. Oh, and I tell you what, there's an umpire doing a great job down there. I'll have to find out who he is. I don't know if he's got any clothes on under that white coat, but he's got a baseball cap and he's very mobile. 5 12 to Erndale's 2 9. Erndale's in possession. Again, you know. Oh, screen, just a blue wall. Oh, a fantastic goal by Dan McCann. Blasted it through the cover. Again, Took a deflection. Oh, screen, just a blue wall. Substitution oh. coming on now. Screen in possession. 5 12. Screen 3 9 to Ern Gales. You know, it's doable. But to win it, you need 3 3 without reply. And another point for screen we won't be shown the under 14 match which is a pity but I suppose the whole looking after mine and that's given us a wide but he was fouled in the process of kicking so they should probably have got the ball hope you're enjoying the music I don't have a hangover so that's good also had the Bray Air show flying over. Looks like a head clash. Aaron Gales. Fair play, screen do do tackle well. Aaron Gales have taken a point. What's the point? And it's wide. So Referee has blown it up. Screen 5-13. Ern Gales 3-9. Looking over. Bally Bowden Blessington. Big Nick Lahey is in from the sideline. 